A couple of years ago in Oakville, uh, someone had decorative handles on a garage door, pressed open, it picked up the hoodie on the kid's shirt, and pinned him in the header for about an hour. He didn't die, but he was severely injured. Now, I thought there were sensors on all garage doors that if there's any friction or too much friction, it automatically stops or goes the other way. Correct. There are sensors, but they have to be installed and tested properly. So this is not really a DIY thing, is it? It's not. There are maintenance checks and, and suggestions that I would have people do, but in terms of actual installations or repairs, it's a very complicated system when you look at it. Okay, now I have a problem with my garage, and I'm going to explain it in a second. Um, what do you do when you come in to do a safety check on someone's garage door? So as a professional, there's a number of steps that we will do. And as a homeowner, there's very few steps that you can do quickly, once or twice a year to check it. As a professional, we will lube and adjust all of your moving parts, check your torsion assembly, check your safety sensors. Um, just, you know, having an eye for what can go wrong leads you to check the right things as a professional. 